Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. <laughs> we are currently being followed by a bunch of chickens. <laughs> They're like, I know you're gonna let us out. Not yet, soon. All those black ones right there are not babies. Anyway, today I've got a story to tell you, but first Sophie wants us to go down a path. She says that the dogs take this path all the time. So she wants to take it. You're scared? Oh, well that was easy and now we're in the horse field. Well, we're not in the horse field, we're in a field. This should be, a, this would be such a good field to fence for the horses. I know, I think that that's what we should do for the chickens. So, if we, okay. yeah. I think we should fence that little area in so that, oh, Penny's over there, she hears me. So that the chickens can't come out. Oh, it's only tiny. So, see this whole section in here? This area goes all the way down. Yeah, this goes all the way down to like the back of the farm? Yes. Let's go. All right. That would be such a good area for the chickens to go in though. Like, it would be perfect. It's fenced off though. Like, they can't get there no matter what we do. Yeah, they can. No, I don't think Through they the can. Yeah, but then, yeah. What did you right. go through that anyways? Honey probably goes Anyway, through. Sophie and I are out scoping this morning. Oh, they can go through there. Yeah. I the, can lift that piece of wood. We're out scoping this morning to see all the changes that we want to make. One big change that we want to make is our garden. So, since we moved to this I house, carrots. and since I've taken kind of a step back from the horses, it's Betty. been, it's been literally such Hi, a Betty. blessing to me. Look at her. Can you guys see her? She's wanting to go on the trail. <laughs> She's waiting at the gate. Next time I see take them out this way. We gotta take some different ones today. But yeah, let's take them out here. We've never ridden in this field yet. Before we had horses, I had this whole different life. Like, I loved kids. <laughs> Little babies and kids and I centered my life around them and I was all about nutrition and diet. See, this would be perfect, this little area for the chickens. Perfect, or the, even the duck and the goose, the ducks and the geese. The goose wants to go with the chickens. I know. So, we're just scoping out to see how fenced in this little area here is. This is how much fencing is in this on this property. Woo! Tripped. Here, oh my God! This is. <laughs> this stuff is. Thick. You gotta pick your feet up. All right, so it's completely fenced in. Yeah. See, it's completely yeah, fenced in. in. But like, do you really want to have to walk all the way down here if a chicken gets lost? <laughs> well, yeah. All right. I think that. I mean. I mean. It's a big area for them. Goat, goats would like to climb that. Yeah, the goats will go And it goes all the way down there, too. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Let's take that into consideration. Anyway, what I was saying, what I was saying was that I used to be like a very big into homemaking. We used to be gluten free for years. I used to make everything fresh. Even though I hate cooking, I used to make all of our stuff. And now that we've been like this past since Christmas, especially, I've really gotten into, I've really gotten that bug again. Yeah. I've been making everything that we eat, even like the junk food that we eat, I've been making it like I used to, so I can substitute ingredients to make them more healthy for us. I feel like she's dumped brown sugar into A subscriber sent me a brownie recipe and I made it, I loved it. How did you like it? It tasted like brown sugar. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was brown sugar. Nobody liked it but me. But anyway, that is like a big focus for our, our summer this summer. We're going to be doing horse shows and other things with our horses, some new things with our horses. Sophie and I especially. Some more fairs. Yeah, Sophie and I especially want to try it all. We want to try new things with our horses. We will be doing all of our own milk. We'll be making creams and lotions and soaps. I love 
Sophie said she's not going to drink it. I think everybody will drink it. It's really good. I've tried it. It's so good. It's the same as raw milk. We're going to... Are you helping me with the garden this year? Do you want to plant anything? Well, I just want to pick them. All right, so the garden has always been my thing, and it used to be Sam's thing, but then he got kind of over it. Wow, we have a lot of black chicken. We have a lot of black chickens, you guys. Did you know people say black chickens are good? Because from the sky, for other predators, they look like crows. Rocks. Like the rock thingies? Yeah, guineas. Um, I would name it rock one, rock two, rock three, and so on. That's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, they're all outside today, enjoying life. I like that one because it's a fat one. Like yeah, it's, it's thick. I, I like the I like the chunky and ones. That one is too. We're but probably gonna rehome our rooster this year. We probably will. We have. We keep uh, getting new roosters, and I'm like, I'm trading this one in for that one. Yeah, we keep getting new roosters, and it's our goal to find a nice one because, unfortunately, ours is not nice. <laughs> he does his job well, but he's not nice. So that was here when we came here. So if he's like, can I spin that thing? Guess what it is? I'm not gonna tell you guys. All right, I'll tell you guys <laughs> because I'll forget if I don't. But guess what it is? It like, I like it. I might move it and put it closer to the garden. You know That's if a we hint. Empty it, what is it? We could put what is saddles it? on it. Oh yeah, we could put saddles on that. What do you think it is though? It says Nate Natura. What do you think it is? I opened it. I don't even remember how to open it. Thing. Yeah, it's a compost. It's in. Pull it all the way over so I can see if it if we can maybe it's all composted and it's got good dirt in it. <laughs> the chickens are like Yes, let's dirt, see. But... No, yeah, it could have good dirt. Oh. That's satisfying. Alright, I don't think you can spin it. I think this is the door. Look and there is dirt. Oh, Ew. Ew, eggshells. I'm throwing every eggshell we have. I mean, it looks like it's got some good composted dirt in there, though. Maybe we'll clean this out. Like, who knows how old this is. I feel like horses took over our life for a few years when the girls were young, and we loved that, and I'd go back to that in a second. But now that things are kind of starting to settle down, I want to get back to like our homestead kind of life. Like we've always had huge gardens and grown so many things. And when my girls were tiny, still up there. when my girls were tiny, all right, let's go that way. I, we'd have friends come over and they'd go out into the garden. We'd have like a massive garden, like as big as this field. And yeah, my that. friends would go out there with them. And so we'd be like two and she'd say, here, do you want some kale? <laughs> And my friends were always like, your kids are weird because they spend a lot of time in the gardens eating everything. So I want to get back to that. Sophie and I were mapping it out today. Oh, Penny's over here now. She travels to me. Let's see if my horse travels to me. Yep. <laughs> She's like, I'll come, Laura. Do you guys want to hear the weird story about Penny's eyes? I've just put two and two together recently. So when I first bought Penny, the very first day I went to see her, she had gunky eyes and I asked the lady like about her eyes and she said, oh, well, she said she just hadn't, hadn't cleaned them yet today. And I don't know why I didn't ask more, <laughs> but she had gunky eyes. And when I brought her home, I had our vet come and do a vet check on her. And he said like, she's missing those pieces of her eyelids and so her eyes can't close all the way, and so it, debris when she lays down, like just stuff just blows in there, and they're just they just get irritated because they don't close all the way. Hi, sweet girl. I'm going down to see the goats. She's like, I know we went yesterday. Anyways, he told me like we tried cleaning them with sterile water. We tried like that's what she did. We tried. I don't even remember. We tried a bunch of stuff. We tried putting on a, a net on her at night, like a a fly net. What's it called? We tried putting a fly mask on her at night. So when she laid down, she didn't get any gunk in her eyes. Nothing worked. They've always been way worse in the winter and much better in the summer. Oh, let's, let's get the ducks fresh water today. Nothing we did ever got rid of it. And so three times I asked them like, 
what could this be? I don't understand. Like we just, nothing worked for it. And so three times he kept telling me the same story over and over and then, so when we brought Storm home, he didn't have an eye infection, but suddenly every, all of our other horses had an eye infection. They just had some goo coming out of their eyes. So I asked the vet about it and he gave me some cream to put in all of their eyes, just some antibiotic cream. So I did it and Penny's eyes have never been gooey again. So is that suspicious or is that suspicious? Like, I just keep looking at her and waiting and thinking like, what the heck, where, where is her gooey eyes? Like, where are her runny eyes? And it just makes me so sad that for like two and a half years, she struggled with this or, and who knows how much longer. And all it took was some eye medicine, some eye ointment. And then now she has never had a single issue. It just goes to show you like, you have to do your own homework. You have to like figure things out sometimes for yourself. You can't just take one person's advice. You have to keep going. And I've learned that so much with the whole Chino situation, but I live it now. Like I live it so many times recently. I've been like, nope, not doing that. Or I like question things and don't take no for an answer. All right, so you guys wanna hear the story? All right, so this morning we came down and we did chores. And Sophie just left Winston and the and the mom and his mom out. We just left them outside running because because Blossom is so much happier when she's outside and she's with the herd and her mental health deserves. Can you take off his sweater? It's a little chilly for it. No, it's nice outside. Right, not sunny, but it's warm enough he can start getting used to not having the sweater on. I want to take it off as often as we can. Anyway, her her mental health is 100% worth her being outside. So we decided we'll just leave them outside. Yes, I know. She wants her mom. See, that's her mom's stop. It's your baby boy. It's your baby boy. Let me move them up. Let's sit out here. Please. All right. So everybody's just going to sit here and stare at us. <laughs> <laughs> so we left them out here oh look at the baby over there the, our other baby oh we should get hay so we left them out here all morning so that was our plan we're just gonna leave them out here and see what happens so we left them out here and I got busy I was doing the cleaning and Sophie was doing her schoolwork, and we just were like busy and I I forgot to check so I checked on him a couple of times and then I just got busy and forgot to check on him. I just assumed that he would be fine. So I look on the camera a couple hours later and they were gone. Every goat was gone. All of them. So I was freaking out. <laughs> we ran out to see where the heck the goats were and they were up with the horses. And it's not that big of a deal, <laughs> except he's like a newborn baby and it just freaked us out. No, you stay. He's like, I'm gonna go through every open gate I find. So Sam's gonna come down and fix all the gates and make sure that he can't, they can't get out. So they were all up with the horses. Not a big deal. They only sometimes do that. But the problem is, is that I don't Ow. think he's ready to go around the horses. He's like fast and annoying. He's like jumping all over everybody and they're not used to him. And Penny is not like a patient horse. So I just don't want him up by the horses yet. It's like nobody knows what to do with them yet. Like they all, they all accept him. They kind of accept him. <laughs> so that was our scary goat story. They left the field, Why are you took the baby there? away with them, took them up into the... Do you know what I'm going to do with Rosie? How she's in the feeder? <laughs> Why is she in the feeder? She's in the feeder. <laughs> Not her in the feeder. In the feeder. My big fear is that he will go through like all those little areas because even when we got our goats and they were three months old, they could fit in so many little spots. So I'm worried he'll get like, hi bud. I'm worried he'll get stuck somewhere. Oh, he wants down. Penny's halter didn't fit her. So you should take off her blanket. They could all have their blankets off. We are headed out to riding lessons and the chickens aren't even in yet. You can tell that spring is in the air when Gabby brings the saddle pad. Do you have a saddle pad? Do you have your saddle? I have two, yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, you have two just in case you don't ride one that you can use your new saddle pad on? Yeah. So we are headed out to riding lessons. Last week it was so cold we couldn't even ride. Today, it's like a spring day. I can't wait to see all my friends. I mean, can't wait for the girls to ride. Riding is like a... I'm, I get to see Elizabeth. Riding is honestly like a social thing for Sam and I, isn't it? 
and it was the same for my sister when my nephews were growing up. They used to have a sign on their front door and it used to say, we put this marriage on hold for hockey season because you just live for all your friends and all, because all your hockey friends and all your horse friends or all your friends that are in the same sport as you, you all are interested in the same stuff. So it's super cool. Brennan says you get to choose. Who's it gonna be? There's 21 horses out there. Who do you want? Your hair looks cute today. Do you, who do you want? Go out there and find a horse. Do you want to ride a new horse? A baby horse? There's a baby and he's cute. He's Who do you want to ride? Denver. All right, go get Denver quick because it's muddy and Bye. you got to be ready. All right, who's it going to be? Come on, Gabby, we're going to pick. I'll pick this one. Gabby, look at this big, gorgeous one. We, Brenda says we can just go out here and pick. I said, no, pick for us because we don't know. Oh, I'm saying this one. He's Gabby's type. All right, come on, come with us. I mean, she's really cute too. And Gabby could ride her. She's small, but Gabby could ride her. Gabby's like me, she doesn't do good with choices. We're picking the big one. It's kind of cool to just go pick. I like him. And probably he's for sale. Come on, I really like him. Is Elizabeth coming? Yeah, I almost lost my shoe. You almost lost, it's wet. It's good in one spot too long. He stood in one spot too long. Yeah, that's, cute. that's who Gabby's riding. I picked him. He is freaking adorable. Gabby's like, you come to me. Come on, big guy. Oh my gosh. I, for cricket. I have the door closed. Oh my gosh. I love him. Here. Come on, big guy. Fit? Well, Dad said it would fit. It does not. He really wants to come. Oh, he is adorable. We just chose any halter. halter. Yeah. We're, you weren't gonna pick you, don't worry. We're picking you. I really like him. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like, oh yeah, I forgot Gabby doesn't want a horse, but you never know. She might get bitten by the, by the horse bug. The fact that he's in with all the ponies makes me think that he's a lover. He seems like a lover, yeah. Yeah, oh, <laughs> don't be scared. You're pretty cute, he's so tall. How'd you get so tall? She really wants to ride that one. Whoa, don't push on me. She really wants to ride that one, but she's kind of small. He's a baby, I betcha. Like, I don't even know anything about him. But you know, when a horse talks to you, like really talks to you, this horse talks to me. We got a leather one. He really wants to come. It and it fits. Right. Oh, you are so cute. All right, there he is. He's got, he's a Chino look-alike, that's for sure. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. I don't want to touch him because I don't know if he's jumpy. I'm sorry, we'll pick you next time, okay? She's really cute. Last time she had her ears pinned the whole time, but now she's got a boyfriend in the field. You're really cute. I'm not joking though, that horse speaks to me. Like he is adorable. All right, I'm excited. I don't even know if she can jump with him, but she likes flat, flat, flat lessons anyway, so. So Sophie brought her brand new saddle pad that she got for her birthday from her friend. Uh, Christmas. Christmas, no you got, from Julia. Oh, yeah. So she finally is getting to ride in it. She brought two saddle pads because she was afraid she was going to have to, she thought maybe she'd have to ride Watcha and she didn't want to put pink on a red horse. So this big guy is looking cute. I had so many horse treats in my pocket, Denver. I changed coats, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, how rude. Do you think he's 17 hands? Hey. No. You don't think he's 17 hands? I do not think so. This horse is huge. I think he's 17 one. 16, you say 16-3? At the tallest. All right, you say 16-3, I say 17 one. It is so cute. He's looking so cute and he's clean. I'm really excited about this horse. <laughs> You're a really cute boy. I think he's young. Are you young? 
He's, he seems young to me. So we bring this horse in, we pick it, it's amazing. It's actually 15, I picked it. It's actually 15, we bring it in, get it all tacked up, all groomed up. Brandon comes out, he's like, oh, I already rode that one. Sorry, he's already been ridden today. I'm like, what? And he's like, I forgot about him. So we picked another horse and you're gonna have to watch the video <laughs> to see who she picked, who we picked. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Hopefully this one works out. Don't you know that you're 